How's it going everyone? Welcome to Double Pebble and it has been a long long time since I last did a FO3 review so today I'm back with another one again this is played by my friend reviewed by me so a little bit of good news I saw a picture that the Indonesian server for FO3 is getting a roster update for 2018 which means that very soon Singapore and Malaysia server will get a roster update for FO3 for the latest 2018 season and the reason why it is good news is because this means that there is a very high chance that FO4 will not be coming to our server so soon which means that you guys get to keep your team in FO3 and continue playing the game you love alright so that is the good news I'm not really sure how true is the source of the picture for the FO3 Indonesia server update I saw that picture but I can't really find the source so if you guys know let me know in the comments section below but I would think this is something that will excite you guys because this game hasn't been updated for quite a long time and finally you guys will see a roster update for FO3 now today we are going to be reviewing another world legend but this time we are doing a more expensive version which is Hernan Crespo plus 5 this is the first time I am like explicitly doing a upgraded version of a player because the currency is small in this game most people can afford upgraded world legend right so now let's take a look at the stats first and we will have to analyze how good Crespo is. Our first thing is his 5-5. In FO4, I focus a lot on weak foot. But in FO3, I didn't really pay a lot of attention to it. It does have 5-5 weak foot, which is a big bonus. In terms of stats, strength-wise, very high. Again, this is a plus 5. So strength is 95. Speed is, of course, at plus 5 World Legend confirmed fast one. 98 sprint, 96 acceleration. 95 jump, 96 agility, 95 balance, 90 for dribbling, 91 for ball control and then his finishing is 97, short power is 95, heading is 96, it's very crazy the stats honestly, long shots is 92, volley is 98 and then his penalties is very good, it's 95, positioning is 95 and then reaction is 93, that is some sick stats right there Styles has got a lot, the most important ones are all there, work rate is not ideal mid low and then trade wise of course the most important one power header and finesse shot and in terms of price roughly about 20 billion I remember when I bought him for this review he's about 20 billion not the most expensive I think in FO3 today and we'll now go into the in-game analysis and see whether Hernan Crespo plus 5 is worth it okay let's talk about his strengths first obviously at plus 5 his stats are all very insane he has sprint of 98 acceleration of 96 making him one of the fastest striker in the game I think since most people are using UL Ronaldo plus 5 or plus 6 right consider slow but from a base stat point of view, 98 sprint is quite fast, alright? He's also got crazy strength, 95, and you can definitely feel his tankiness in the game. So when I was watching, I can feel the tankiness. And I did comment from the side that the first thing that struck me was his size. He actually looked very big and imposing in game, basically like a proper target man. Finishing is also super good. Now this one I was quite surprised because I was sitting at the side when my friend was playing and it's very obvious that he is a natural goal scorer. He scores a lot of goals and you can tell because some of the shots, right, the angles are weird. You almost feel like you are shooting it just for the sake of getting a corner but it goes in. Alright, and my friend is pretty rusty in terms of gameplay for FO3 as well. He's never been the best of player but he hasn't played very often so he's rusty and his Crespo don't get many chances a game normally one or two chances a game but the Crespo is still able to score an average of one goal per game which is very very good and I think a lot of people who are looking to buy Crespo is concerned or want to know more about his aerial ability and I'm glad to announce 
that I'm quite surprised by how good he is in the air. Okay, he wins a healthy amount of contested header, even though he is not the tallest striker around. He's 185 cm. So I find many times he's able to get his head to the ball. It could be because of his high strength. It could be because of his high jump, high positioning. Basically, he got high everything. Maybe that's why he is so good in the air. And dribbling with him is easy too since he has very good dribbling ability and agility as well. So easy to twist and turn with him. And positioning is of course very strong. Quite easy to find him. I find that he is always in the right place at the right time to finish off uh, chances. And of course he's got the 5 star skill move and no weak foot. Now in FO3, I can't really remember whether weak foot is important. But in FO4 it makes a big difference. So I'm just putting this out there that Crespo doesn't even have this weak foot weakness. Alright now in terms of weakness, there's two of them. To be honest, I'm not sure about a plus 1 Crespo because the one that I tried was plus 5. But a plus 5 Crespo has very little weakness. And of course height is one thing, it's 185 not the tallest. But he surprisingly wins quite a lot of haters. And another thing is his work rate. So my friend actually commented that Crespo doesn't seem to want to attack so much. So he'll make a forward run and just suddenly stops. So it could be because of his work rate, I'm not quite sure. But since our gameplay are about the same, I assume that the fact that Crespo stops running is because of the work rate. Lah. So that might be a bit of a concern. But all in all, he's a very prolific goal scorer. I think that's the most important thing for a striker. Must always be able to score goals. So overall, he looks like a very complete striker, especially at plus 5. He's strong with his shooting, very good in the air, very good goal scorer as well. And he's basically a good dribbler. He has everything that you want in a striker. Personally, uh, from a sideline point of view, from a, like, a manager perspective, he looks like a 10 out of 10 in terms of stats. In terms of gameplay, I do see certain aspects of Clivert in him, especially in the way he wins header. But since I personally did not try him out, I can't play FO3 anymore. Based on my friend's feedback, he is about 810, so he still thinks that Cliver is better. But I do have to say that my friend is pretty rusty, alright? So maybe he's not fully utilizing Crespo plus 5, or maybe Crespo plus 5 is not that good. I'm not so sure, but it looks like he is a pretty good striker is he worth it 20 billion you guys should let me know whether is 20 billion considered expensive or cheap nowadays but to be honest uh, why choose other strikers when you can use r9 for now that he's so cheap 2 billion for r9 just get r9 upgrade him to plus 5 also about 20 30 billion i think plus 5 and then your striker problem is solved already you don't have a, you you don't even have to think about getting a striker already that is all i have for this review video hope you guys enjoy and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my fo3 review video don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more fifa online 3 content check out our facebook and discord as well the fo3 discord like a zombie town like that nobody bothered to talk there only the fo4 guys are talking all right so i'll see you guys next week enjoy your weekend goodbye